digital technology and capability that um, has developed and is developing in the medical space is phenomenal. Like, for example, I mean, 3D Signatures is is actually a software company. You know, we run clinical trials. We develop uh, data sets, uh, warehouse that data to to build a model and to build our analytics. But once it's built, it's essentially a software company. And in terms of critical need, for example, our recent prostate results, we were 50 out of 50 in our ability to predict the aggressiveness of disease. Hello, everyone, and welcome into CrushTheStreet.com. I'm Kenneth Amaduri, and today we're going to be talking about the future of medicine and how that relates to our money. It's really sad, you know, in a lot of situations, with all the government restrictions and, and regulations, uh, to consider how far in advance ta technology could really be, where we could actually be today without those things. But nonetheless, we got a lot of things to look forward to. And I brought an expert on the line who is going to be talking about you know mass distribution to incurable illnesses, you know, solutions to this. So we have Hugh Rogers on the line. He's with 3D Signatures a company that is on the verge of incredibly exciting growth in in the medical space. So, Hugh, thanks for joining me today. Pleasure to be here. Thank you, Kenneth. Hugh, uh, I, I kind of want to talk about the future of medicine, where we've been, and uh, what we can expect, uh, the cutting-edge advancements that may otherwise be unknown to the average person. Uh, I know you're heavily involved with this. I know you're you're with 3D Signatures, and you guys are doing a lot of things that are really exciting. Can you give us a little idea of what we can expect here going down the line? Sure. I think you know the the big theme, um, and this is really related to the company I'm involved in, 3D Signatures, is precision medicine or personalized medicine. So this is you know the customization of healthcare. Um, and the personalization of medical decision making and the particular therapeutics tailored to an individual patient. So this means getting a patient the right drug at the right time. It may mean uh, postponing treatment because they don't need it for a certain um, disease. For example, prostate cancer, heavily overtreated. Um, it really, what it requires, I think are tools, um, molecular diagnostics, imaging, analytics software, that can tell a physician uh, based on that individual patient's uh, circumstances what treatment they need and when. Um, and this is something that you know it benefits patients, getting them the treatments they need when they need it. It also benefits healthcare providers because right now, uh, for example, in the oncology space, you may you know you may maybe a shotgun approach, you might get six different drugs in a cocktail, one of them probably works, maybe in combination, a few of them work synergistically or cumulatively. And then the alter other alternative is trial and error. You take a drug, doesn't work, try a different drug, doesn't work. Eventually you may find something that works. So you know, this is what we have to get away from. Um, and the potential cost savings are significant to the payer if you can take one drug, uh, if you can take the right drug at the right time, uh, potential cost savings are extremely large. Um, so, Hugh, so. What, what sort of illnesses are, are we talking about? And um, can this be applied to more than uh, just illnesses across the board? Or I know you guys are focused on a few, but what, what is the, the market for this? Right, so precision medicine, I think, is a is a broad term, industry term that can apply to to really any disease. We're focused on oncology, and obviously, that's an enormous um, an, an enormous problem, in, in, and consequently, industry um, and market. At the same time, we've had uh, very good success at 3D Signatures with uh, neurological disorders, and we're working on Alzheimer's right now, um, and really. The, the need, I would say, is even more critical in Alzheimer's because we don't even have an accurate, uh, specific biomarker or diagnostic for Alzheimer's. Whereas in cancer, in most cases, we do have a diagnostic. Um, what 3D Signatures provides in the cancer space is more advanced uh, types of treatment uh, information. So, as I said before, you know, right drug at the right time, for example. 
So these are huge markets. Uh, 3D Signatures has studied 14 diseases now. 13 of those are cancer. Um, also Alzheimer's disease. And we've had a collaboration with Johnson & Johnson in the past on our Alzheimer's. We've got a number of um, you know, potential opportunities at the pharma level on our oncology side. So we're pretty excited about the recognition we're getting and uh, the future in terms of obviously size of market and uh, and I think most importantly effectiveness of what, of what we're doing. Sure. You know, I, I would imagine back in the 80s and 90s, many people were thinking, hey, there's not much left to be invented. And here we had the, the internet revolution going into the 90s and 2000s and, you know, no looking back now, the, the amount of an impact that the internet has had on communication it just cannot be overstated and i'm wondering how man how much room is there for progress in the medical space especially here with precision medicine could there can you see something on the horizon that could just be such a game changer for for medicine uh as the internet was the communication well i think that's a good point i mean the digital technology and capability that um, has developed and is developing in the medical space is phenomenal. Like, for example, I mean, 3D Signatures is is actually a software company. You know, we run clinical trials. We develop uh, data sets, uh, warehouse that data to to build a model and to build our analytics. But once it's built, it's essentially a software company. And in terms of critical need, for example, our recent prostate results we were 50 out of 50 in our ability to predict the aggressiveness of disease. Just to put that in perspective, the current standard of care based on a biopsy correctly assess the severity of disease in only 21 out of 50 patients. Wow. So, I mean, that's the sort of difference we're talking about, 50 out of 50 versus 21 out of 50. So there, there is a critical need and the solution, as you alluded to, is very much um, digital digital technology driven. Hugh, uh, so let's go down the list here of, of what you guys are looking at and how big the market is. What are what are your top markets for uh, what 3D Signatures is focused on and you know how, how big is the opportunity here? Right, so our most advanced technology is in Hodgkin's lymphoma and that's uh, again, critical need. There's no biomarker that can predict responsiveness to standard chemotherapy and that's what we're developing. We're probably 12 months away from a product in market, that will be our first um, our first uh, commercial product. After that, um, prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is an enormous market. I mean, in North America and Europe, obviously, um, very large opportunities there. And after that, I think in terms of our priority pipeline, we're looking at uh, lung cancer, critical need, lar very large market, uh, multiple myeloma. Uh, deadly blood cancer, not as big a market, but extreme need, um, and then Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's disease is something that um, it is probably rivaled only by, by prostate cancer in terms of the size of that market, and Alzheimer's is a, a critical, critical um, disease that requires, I think, the attention of the entire industry, and there certainly is a lot of effort being uh, being directed towards Alzheimer's. And what we have there, um, and we will we expect some uh, have some recent news on this. Uh, what we've developed is a diagnostic based on a cheek swab. So this is a non-invasive diagnostic. Uh, we've been able to identify Alzheimer's patients as well as uh, stratify patients between different stages of Alzheimer's, which is very important. That's a tool that drug companies could use in the development of therapeutics. So we have applications for patients. Uh, we also have applications for drug development companies to monitor the uh, course of disease responsiveness of treatments in real time. So you know, we're able to play both on the drug development side as well as the pure sort of diagnostic uh, prognostic markets. And uh, really, I would assume the sky is the limit for you guys. I've seen these toilets you know i've heard about these toilets that you know are gathering samples and and sending back the data immediately to doctors and doctors are 
are analyzing waste from human the human body and and giving people instant feedback is is that a potential for 3d signatures down the line to partner with companies like this on this sort of basis and really get to mass distribution so i think the potential you know the we we certainly have a, a sort of extreme scalability uh, potential as a software company. There's a potential that we could be gathering data from clinics in Europe, in Asia, North America, South America, and all and all the analytics essentially data capture from all over the world comes back to our central data server, likely cloud based um, ultimately, and do run our analytics, send back reports globally. So it has that that scalability component that's quite unusual um, in diagnostics biotech. And then in terms of the, you know, real-time feedback on the drug development side, you know, the ability to assess a patient's responsiveness, um, and we have some published data on this uh, with a, co- a collaboration with a U.S. biotech called Cariofarm, um, the ability to provide information about responsiveness in less than four hours. So this was from a blood test predicting you know, which patients would respond to which drugs, uh, which drugs were causing side effects, uh, all from a blood test. So, you know, very disruptive technology. And as you said, you know, as you noted, highly scalable. Yeah. So, Hugh, uh, the scientific team you guys have for 3D signatures is second to none. Uh, let's tell us a little bit about how big of a deal Dr. Sabine my is and you know what she's contributed to the technology right so dr sabine my um technology's inventor uh, very impressive um science she's currently a professor of physiology and pathophysiology uh, biochemistry and medical genetics at the university of manitoba and she's developed this technology over uh, two decades um, was very successful in raising non-dilutive funding uh, at this point, over $25 million non-dilutive funding invested in this technology. And, um, you know, the science she's over now has over 130 peer-reviewed academic publications focused and related to this technology. And I think what you see, and I think the validation is um, you see world-class scientists and physicians that have recognized what she's done and joined our team. So if you look at, for example, our clinical and scientific advisory board, you see uh, someone like Dr. Kenneth Anderson, um, he's a Kraft family professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. Um, he's uh, one of the most recognized uh, blood cancer doctors in the world. He's the uh, head of the uh, Myeloma Therapeutics Institute at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute at Harvard Medical School, uh, graduated from John Hopkins. He is the name in uh, that particular cancer. Likewise, Dr. Lawrence Klotz, prostate uh, physician. He's a uro-oncologist, um, widely published, um, one of the probably the most uh, progressive um, uh, prostate uh, physicians in the world, he pioneered the adoption of active surveillance as a standard aspect of care. So, you know, we've covered off prostate multiple myeloma and uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, we have Dr. Hans Kinesh, um, head of uh, head of hematopathology at McGill University and Jewish General Hospital Hospital. So, you know, Kenneth, we, we've been able to attract world class physicians and scientists um, to this company based on the technology. It is so so disruptive um, and has such great potential that we have built an international team that, you know, really is, you know, quite unusual mm. we're a, a small canadian biotech that's you know really punching way above our weight class in terms of the credibility that we're bringing to the table hugh so let's talk for a moment here about the big payoff for early investors and 3d signatures if someone wanted to partner with you you know what did they have to look forward to if they um, wanted to purchase shares of 3d signatures yeah so i think there's a few real highlights here and I think you know you're at a very attractive price point in the market here, under a dollar. Um, and looking at the technology as a whole, it's extremely disruptive. It has this software as a service um, aspect to it, um, already attracting industry majors. I think that's a part of the equation that um, people probably don't really understand that uh, how 
how significant this could be to the drug development world as well as, well as patient care. Um, the team that's involved, extremely um, you know, successful track record in the biomedical industry, um, diagnostics as well as therapeutics, and a number of catalysts over you know, the six months, uh, six to 12 months. So 2017 um, development of our Hodgkin's lymphoma assay, uh, likely two to three additional clinical trials um, pharma collaborations expected um, over the next three to six months. So a number of a number of catalysts to drive value and really bring us uh, to the forefront. I think in the United States with institutional investors. So right now, I think is a great time for a smaller investor to get positioned ahead of uh, institutional investors. Well, hey Hugh, uh, this is really exciting. And uh, I appreciate you coming on the line with me and kind of giving us an idea of what we can expect here. I think people, when they look back at 2017, they're going to look back and see it, you know, the dark ages in terms of where we are in the future in terms of medicine and advancements. And people are going to be blown away that we suffered to such a degree that we did, you know, during this time with all the breakthroughs that are going to be happening. And it's really exciting. And I know you guys are pioneering this and contributing, you know, huge, large, incredible technologies uh, to these advancements. So uh, thank you for that. And, and thanks for coming on the line with me today. Absolutely. Thanks a lot for, uh, for hosting me, Kenneth. Um, 3D Signatures really is at the forefront of personalized medicine. This is cutting edge technology. It's software driven. Um, really the future of medicine. It's, um, it's a trend that will continue. And like you said, we'll look back on 2017 at some point in the probably not too distant future and wonder you know, how, we, how we got by without this type of technology. Mm-hmm.